Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon purple spotted gudgeon tank and recently I put new lighting on this tank. It was really really dimly lit with some very low quality LED strip lighting I had made and what I did was replace it with uh, LED retrofit T8 tubes. Uh, effectively they're the same shape and size as a T8 fluorescent tube they're just LEDs and I took a couple of my old aquarium hoods that took fluorescent tubes and I swapped them out and I put these new um, LEDs in there and it turns out that they're really bright this is a two foot 10 watt LED that we're looking at and it's 5000 K so the problem was with two of them in there one in the fore and one in the rear it was just really really brightly lit and not only is that more light than the plants in this tank need but the fish in this tank aren't real keen on having a really highly lighted tank either and so what i wound up doing was putting the tube in the forward fixture and leaving the rearward fixture empty and so it gives us this sort of impression of depth as you look into the tank it just sort of seems to go on forever now that is also only because I've got my big LED that lights up my garden tank turned off. When I turn that on, the light shines into this tank and you can see the back of this tank clear as a bell. So that illusion of depth is actually gone. But what you get is this strange sort of the front of the tank is lit but the back of the tank is not effect. And it doesn't look right to me anymore. I'm just, it looks, it looks okay like this but it doesn't look okay when I put the other lights on. So what I wound up doing today was I went back up to the old Wally World and I got another one of their little tubes and I got the 2700K this time and we're gonna try color blending by putting a soft white tube in the rear part of the tank and then having the um, cool white or they call it daylight is going to be in the foreground and we're going to have this nice bright light that you can see there but with a softer uh, more reddish light in the back so we can talk a little bit more about the um, great value brand LEDs the ones that I'm putting on this tank because they're not as bad as you might think I've actually done a little bit of research into them so let me go ahead and get that switched up and uh, we can talk about it afterwards so there's your before there's your after so that's still an awful lot of light in the tank, but it does look a little bit better with that softer light being back there. I had considered buying two of the soft white tubes and then putting them both in there just to see how it looked. And then if I didn't like it, I could always take one of them back or just use it somewhere else for some other purpose. But I don't really think I want the whole tank to look that soft and remember we're seeing that soft light but we're also seeing the bright light or the cool light on there as well so we're getting the blend of colors right here perhaps we're not and you're seeing the 5000k only but by the time we're back here and we're looking at all this stuff you're seeing both the 5000 and the, the uh, 2700k on that so let me turn the 5000k off for a second and now you can see a much much softer appearance so if I had the whole tank lit like that I know it looks nice but it's just it's not the right kind of light it's not adequate for a planted tank to just have nothing but that 2700 K light in there and frankly I don't like the tanks looking like this all the time it looks nice when you first look at it but after a while it just it doesn't look right it looks like the sun's about to set or the sun just rose or something again in the evening that's nice to look at but for all day long I like to have that more bluer spectrum in there so let's get the 5000k light back on and so that gives you a nice little bit of a blend of the color so notice how we're not only concentrating on getting the back part of the tank lit up but we're actually blending the two color temperatures of light so you can see the uh, temple plant in the back if you watch this one here in particular uh, this is all the same plant but if you watch this uh, terminus right here in particular you can see it's fully lit by the 5000k 
and it does get more light because it's directly under the 2700K, but you can see how the color really softens up and you see a lot more of the orange color when we turn that one on. And if I turn this off, it gets even oranger. So the 5000K light in the front is doing more than simply making the tank brighter. It's putting those needed blue spectrums into the tank so we can not only see the colors better and it gives it a better color rendering, but it also gives the plants that higher energy blue light that they need uh, to grow properly. So we're probably going to stick with the way it is or the way it was. I'm either going to turn the rearward fixture off and just have the four fixture on, or we're going to leave it how it is now. I'm guessing that the gudgeon is probably back up here. Yeah, he's back up in the corner. He's been hiding back there ever since I put the new lighting on it. So I don't know if he's going to still be happy with the lighting the way it is now. Or not, but he's just going to have to deal with this. So I think that's how we're going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it with the uh, blended color. In fact, I want to move this fixture a little more towards the rear. I got that forward fixture way up front, and it sort of separates the colors out a little bit more. So that gives you a little more even blend of the two colors. So as far as the Great Value brand LEDs, let me see if I can grab one of these packages again. I did a little bit of research into it, and Great Value, of course, is the Walmart store brand. And I read an article from several years ago when they were just making the switch over into purchasing uh, LEDs from a company so that they could use their store brand and so on and so forth. Obviously, Walmart does not make these themselves, but they had to find a company that made LEDs that they were going to be happy with in order to start marketing them under the Great Value brand. And they wound up going with the company TCP, which makes all of the compact fluorescent light bulbs, and Walmart already dealt with them with their compact fluorescents. And so they worked in conjunction with them, and they came up with these sort of proprietary chips that are made for Walmart products, these Great Value brand products, and they make two chips. They make the 5000K, which they call Daylight, and they make a 2700K, which they call soft white. So no matter whether you buy the light bulbs or the tubes or the four foot or the two foot, it's all the same chips. You get your choice of one or the other, and that's it. You get a 5000K chip or you get that 2700K chip, and they're all the same chip. But they're a pretty good quality chip. It's certainly not anything that you're going to you know, use as a real grow light, unlike my, you know, other one where I've got those Cree X lamps on there. But as far as putting it over a, a fish tank like this or something, it's not a garbage LED. And if you were going to put it over your workspace or your laundry area or something like that, it makes a fine quality light. They don't have any flicker. I'm, I'm surprised with the quality of the product. I really am. I, it's been years without me ever even looking at them because I assumed they were going to be terrible. And I took a chance the other day and I bought one. Uh, I bought a floodlight, actually, and I was so impressed with the floodlight that I started looking into them a little more and I found out what I've just shared with you about the, the brand that they use and so on and so forth. So if you've ever heard of the company TCP... That's who makes the chips we're looking at right now, or, you know, the, we're looking at the light coming from the chips. Um, but that is TCP, and that is the Great Value brand uh, LEDs. So it's pretty easy to switch out your new uh, or put LEDs on your tank by swapping out your old fixtures. If you've got any of the two-foot fixtures or four-foot fixtures, they've got tubes that fit both of them. Now, interestingly, on one final note, I will say that I found it um, odd that to get the four-foot tubes, which I just did yesterday, I replaced the uh, old T8s that were over my washing machine area, and I put some new LEDs in there, and you can get a two-pack of the four-foot tubes for $8.88, but the tube I just showed you was a two-foot tube, a single tube, and it's $6.88. So I guess it goes down to volume, and those four-foot tubes are super common. And they probably sell so many of them, and then that's why the price is so low. So if you've got a four-foot fixture or a shop light, 
uh, like I have. I've got these shop lights on my tanks, but these shop lights already have LEDs built in. They're LED style shop lights. If you see the reflection there, see all the little tiny lights. So I didn't have to retrofit these at all. But if you've got an old school shop light that takes the T8 lights, you know, the fluorescent tubes, you can retrofit it for less than 10 bucks and have LEDs on your tank. And you can do, um, like I've done, you can color blend them, but the four foot tubes come in a two pack. So you've got to buy, um, no pun intended, you got to buy two at a time uh, if you buy the four foot tubes. So there you go. I'm pretty happy with it. And I, like I said, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, you know, I don't really think I have anything else to say about it and a little more than I was expecting to say about it. But again, I'm really impressed with these Walmart LEDs. They're really uh, pretty good quality for the price you pay. It's uh, a pleasant surprise for me. So there you go, everybody. There's a final look at my purple spotted gudgeon. I'm going to say make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you real soon in the next one.